Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look <clears throat> at the build code number RPRS753GP. This is a track for a lid of your uh, roof hatch for a guide arm. Okay. This is a guide arm track, is what this is. Where is it used? Well, this item is going to be used where you have a very large, a very deep roof hatch. This is a 30-inch version of their guide track. So in a roof hatch, you'll have a hold open assembly where you'll lift the hatch and then you can lock the unit in the hold open position. But I've seen some roof hatches that were so wide, 12 feet, maybe longer, wider, you know, four foot or three and a half foot by 12 foot. Under the weight of the lid, and I'm just imagining this is how it works, under the lid's own weight, as you lift it up, that other end's going to sag down. The guide arm will allow you to run a T-slot in your guide down this track. When it comes to these really heavy-duty versions, all of the pieces are sold separately. So this is the lid track. Then the guide arm would be separate and mounted to the sidewall. Then the bolts that would be needed to bolt all of it together, that's a separate light item as well. And that's because these items are literally custom made to meet the engineering requirements of this custom roof hatch that they're building. Um, I'm sure that they fall onto standardized roof hatch sizes that appear in their website, um, in their product catalog. But according to the factory, they will, because they are a custom manufacturer of material, everything's made to order. They have the ability to engineer internally the parts that they need for a proper, safe, code compliant roof hatch. Okay. This is the 30 inch version of the hold open guide bracket. This is the track which goes on the lid. This video is to serve as visual and dimensional evidence of the item. Overall length, about 25 inch. That's normal for a 30 inch size. The guide arm for this will prove to be 30 inch from the center of its axis of the plate mounted to the sidewall to the center line of the T-slot that's going to ride inside this track. This is going to have a width of two and a quarter. This will have a total projection of about two and an eighth. This is going to be made of steel and a zinc dichromate finish. The mounting hole locations from the end where the T-track is going to enter We have about one inch to the center line of that first hole. The second hole is going to be about six and seven eighths. That third hole is going to be about twelve and a half. The fourth hole is at about eighteen and a quarter, and the fifth hole is at twenty-four inch. Okay. This same track, interestingly enough, is used for the hold open side as well. And that little hole that's right there is what permits the handle to enter that hole and hold the unit in the up position. But the guide on the opposite side, you wouldn't have hold open arms on both sides. You'd have a hold open arm generally on the left side, but not exclusively. And then a guide on the opposite side to keep that unit, you know, in line with what it's doing on the other end. Okay, so that's a very important aspect to what they're doing. <clears throat> this video is to serve as visual <clears throat> and dimensional evidence of the item primarily because <clears throat> there isn't necessarily a list there isn't necessarily a list of these items where this is used they don't they don't publish all of the roof hatches that they put this material on they're a custom manufacturer they'll use it when the engineering calls for it to be used so a lot of the times we have customers contact us i'm looking for a part i have no idea what it is i have no idea where to get it etc okay Email us photographs. That really gets us very far down the road. 
what you're really looking for, in addition to photographs of all the hardware, the lid open closed, is anything, any information on the sidewall, like a decal, like a sticker, most especially a serial number. If you can find a serial number, we can absolutely go to the manufacturer, give them that serial number, and they will pull a bill of material of that item, and they will tell us precisely what's needed, what was used, and what you need to replace so that you can continue to get useful service out of the significant investment in roof hatch material. It's not only the roof hatch, it's really the installation that's uh, at least as expensive of installing a roof hatch. So that's very handy to be able to have that ability to determine what you need. In absence of a serial number, because you will often find a, a roof hatch that's quite clearly Bilco, does not have a serial number on it. That decal has come off or that sticker's gone. Maybe it was never on there in the first place. Who knows? Those photographs will allow us to contact the factory and generally what will happen is the person that gets the photographs, he can contact or she can contact engineering and they can say, oh, okay, that it's probably this. When you supply those photographs, certainly in absence of a serial number, indicate the size as well, okay? How wide, how deep, because that will allow them to also determine what may have been used on that. And in almost all instances, in fact, I think in all instances, get us to an exact part number where we have eliminated the guesswork. Okay, So this is the RPRS753GP guide bracket for the lid. Can also be used as the uh, can also be used as the LP, the hold open arm bracket as well. Okay, get that open. Your handle will come up and stick inside of there is what it'll do. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Bilco products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Bilco, Bilco RPRS 753GP guide rail bracket or any other Bilco product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.